Hi again everybody and welcome to another video where I will implement a serializer in the response of an existing API. The API has two main resources, users and books, and they are related to each other. The user has many books and the book belongs to a user. Uh, the name of the serializer is Acting Model Serializer. And as its name says, it serializes the model based on the attributes we declare in the serializer class. And finally, I like to tell you all the resources and the links that I will show you in the, in the video will be available in the description of this video. So if you like to see this implementation, go ahead. Okay, first, uh, I need to download the, the project. I will go to the GitHub repo. Uh, it's on what token APA. So it's only a matter of copy the URL uh, to clone the project. I will put the project in my desktop. So there it is and open it with the ID. Here, first, uh, I like to run the server, but we need to install all the dependencies. And I will do that with a, the bundle install command. Okay, to install all the dependencies of this project. Once this is finished, um, I need to run the Rails server project to run our server. Okay, real server. Okay, but first uh, I need to run the migrate the migrations. So there it is. And now Rails server. To be sure that the API is, is working. Let's create a user. Here I have the collection. And we can see the user was great. This is the token. And I will put the token in the environment variables, the access token, to create the book. If you remember, it's an API of books. And there it is. The book was great for the user Ivancito. And let's create another one. Harry Potter book. So let's see if they were great with the index action. And there it is. Now let's create a branch it will be named active model branch active model serializer branch um, because what I will um, use will be the active model serializer gem is the gem to serialize or response um, let's put it well the dependency in our gem file here it is okay and now um let's run the bundle install to download the dependency okay so let's commit or changes 
this will be add active model serializer gym okay once we have the gym installed we can use the rails generate command to generate the serializer of the model in our case will be the user model so uh, the command will end with serializer user and that's it it will generate automatically to serializer with the id as attribute so um let's see if it works but well um if you see in the response we ha we have information that we don't need so the only information that i like to return is the username and uh, first I like to run the server to check this okay let's create another user and it's supposed to return okay no this is not returning the response that we like uh, so uh, it's because we are closing our response in as a hash so i need to return the user itself because by convention um, rails with serialize this user model with the serializer we just create so let's create another user and there it is we are only returning the user name okay and let's return also the token the token is not part of the model so uh, we need to define a method and in this me method we 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 will use the instance option that we will pass in in the action in the create action and by this way it will return the token let's create another user and we can see that the token is returning that's it for the user model let's create the commute and here I will add this and add user serializer and that's it well it's books serializer turn so uh, the same way we create a user serializer with the rail generate command and here it is the serializer and what we well I well I'd like to return in the book it's the title actually uh, only the ID and the title so I will put uh, the attribute in the book serializer here and then let's run our server and test if it works in this case we are returning the the instance of the books in our crude operations so 
there it is. Let's commit our changes. And that's it. There is an association between the user, a user, and books. So uh, the user serializer provides the has many method to make the, that association and returning or, or response this association. Uh, here I missed the status because this is the action create the status will be great but where I like to test this association is in the login request but first let's return the the user itself the model without enclosing it in in, in the hash so here it's almost the same as the create action and I will run the server and uh, it's supposed to return the the books now okay this is the no it's, this is the index action let's go with the login you remember I created the Ivancito user and now if you can see here uh, we are now returning the books associated with with this user the user Ivancito uh, but let's try with another user Ivan was the uh, the other user that I create if you can see the user the well, doesn't have books so I will put the token of this user in our access token variable and let's create the book for the user it will be the Harry Potter 2 book and let's test in the login action again and there it is we have the the books in this user again let's commit our changes this commit well, with this will be git commit add books association to user Okay, um, so it's it's time to, to do it the other way around, but there will be a difference because we will like to avoid the mutual reference uh, between the serializers. I create a serializer named book serializer. Uh, this serializer is the one that I will use in the book serializer because as I mentioned I like to avoid the mutual reference and cause an error so uh, this serializer in this serializer I would like to return only the username for instance the book will return the information of the username and this information will be the username of that user okay so um, let's uh, add the attribute in this case will be the username rail server and let's test it okay if you see, we are returning only the username as the user. Let's check it with Ivancito user. 
in the books of Ivancito. So let's change the access token. And Spider Man and Harry Potter are the the books of Ivancito. Okay. Um this is the end, I think. Uh, let's come here our final change for this video. I hope you enjoy it. And at user association. Okay, association to book. Thanks.